Hi and welcome to Sim Racing Corner. Uh, today we're looking at an application for HTC Vive headsets called Fragment VR. Uh, so Fragment VR uses the front facing camera on the Vive to cut a window into the real world while we're immersed in VR. I'm thinking this might be useful uh, to VR sim racers to be able to access button boxes and the keyboard more easily without having to fumble around while wearing the headset. And this is the trailer for Fragment VR, and this demonstrates what it's capable of doing. Uh, so I'll let the trailer play for a bit before I give it a go myself. Well, that's quite enough of that. I think we've got the message. As the trailer demonstrates, it's very easy to set up. Uh, we can have up to four windows open at once. I only need two, uh, and there goes my cat. Uh, hello, Cleve. <laughs> well, she just disturbed the video, but uh, I'll keep you in here, shall I? Uh, right, okay, then. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes, um, I, I only need uh, two Fragment VR windows open at once, uh, one for my Derek Spears button box and one over the keyboard. Uh, the first thing we notice is the image being piped through isn't very clear. I can't read the labels on the button box or the letters on the keyboard without getting in close. Uh, this isn't a problem with Fragment VR, it's the resolution of the camera on the HTC Vive. Um, as the camera is designed for basic functions like the sci-fi looking uh, room view mode, uh, just to be able to peek into the room around you without having to uh, remove the headset. Uh, I can make out the different buttons and switches and even the black dials on the black face of my button box itself and on the keyboard I can see each key if not the letters themselves uh, and it also helps that my keyboard is backlit. Oh, okay, right, it's time to test Fragment VR in a game situation. I've also got FPS VR loaded uh, just to keep an eye on performance to see if it's affected with Fragment VR running. Uh, this is race room at 160% super sampling and this is the regular setting I run this game at. Uh, Fragment VR did help me locate buttons and keys very quickly. Uh, there's minimal lag within the view of the camera so it is intuitive and works well as can be expected considering the low resolution visibility of the camera itself. We can see as the lap progresses our frame rate is varying considerably uh, depending on how busy the action is in front of us. Race room still remains playable and reprojection was helping to smooth out the drop in performance. It should also be noted we're recording with OBS on the same PC and that will also have a small impact on the performance as well. We also ran the lap without Fragment VR running and I can tell you that we were getting a solid 90 FPS throughout. And here's Project Cars 2 with no super sampling on this occasion uh, to give Fragment VR the best conditions in which to run uh, I picked the wrong car for this demonstration, uh, taking your hands off the wheel and looking away from the track in a Formula car is going to uh, lead to disaster as you'll soon see. Um, the window is offset in the button box view, um, as you might uh, notice, and that was my error and not Fragment VR. Fragment VR does a perfectly good job at keeping the position locked in place, uh, so there's no minus points there. Uh, we can see again the performance is being affected over the course of the lap, but running better overall in Project Cars 2. I'll let this lap run for a little while uh, so you can observe what's happening and I can also say we were getting full 90 FPS running the same race and game settings when Fragment VR wasn't being used. There wasn't any need to try this across any other titles. Race Room and Project Cars 2 are great VR performers, so we can conclude uh, Fragment VR will impact frame rates. Uh, but by running more conservative video settings like we did in Project Cars 2 without any super sampling, the frame rate drop uh, effect was minimal and I didn't notice any frame drop during the gameplay. As a final test, uh, this is Race Room again at 160% super sampling as before, but I'm only using a single fragment VR window over the keyboard this time, just to see if having fewer windows open is less taxing on our PC. As a reminder, I'm running a GTX 1080 Ti with a i7-8700K processor with 32GB of RAM. The processor has a minor overclock, uh, just to run all cores at 4.7GHz, and the GTX 1080 is factory overclocked, along with a minor manual boost to core and memory clocks. 
In conclusion, Fragment VR does work, um, it is effective, it's an interesting and unique application, however we know it will reduce performance of the game uh, that is running at the same time when using Fragment VR, and that may be a problem for some VR sim racers, depending on how powerful their system is to begin with. Fragment VR is in early access and the developer has mentioned on his Steam page the full version will feature a UI redesign, greater hardware support and the maximum obtainable performance out of the camera. Um, I should mention I initially had problems getting Fragment VR to work and Barry Block, the developer, contacted me directly after I reported the issue and he gave me access to a beta version which worked perfectly and used in this video. I'm glad I had the chance to try out Fragment VR. Uh, future optimizations uh, may offset the performance hit we took in our testing. It's a cool application. It could be useful for sim racers with button boxes, particularly those with larger button box console arrangements. And despite the resolution, it allowed me to locate controls rapidly and having a window open uh, poking out into VR didn't reduce immersion or distract me. Uh, Fragment VR costs under five UK pounds, uh, so it's very cheap if you want to try it for yourself. Uh, and there's a link in the description. Well then, uh, we've come to the end of another Sim Racing Corner video. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you want to ask anything about the application we've used today. And please pop a like below the video, it helps the channel tremendously. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And finally, happy simming. I'll see you in the next one and bye bye for now.